Today I would like to tell you a little bit about this project called Characterization of Novel Disease Pathway for Generalized Pustular Psoriasis. This was supported by the Psoriasis Association and their funding uh, in particular supported a very bright and talented PhD student called Marika Catapano who uh, carried out research on this topic for three years. The aim of the project was to achieve a better understanding of a variant of psoriasis called generalized postular psoriasis. This is a rare condition, but it's also a very severe one. It presents with the eruption of pustules, which can cover a substantial proportion of uh, the skin surface. And these uh, painful uh, pustular eruption are often um, accompanied by, uh, fe by high fever and also uh, alterations in uh, white blood cell counts. And so uh, affected individuals feel uh, really unwell and often require uh, urgent uh, hospitalization to be treated. Uh, the disease is difficult to manage and it does not respond to the drugs that are usually um, used to treat uh, the common form of psoriasis, uh, also known as plaque psoriasis. So when we started this work, we knew that individuals affected by generalized pustular psoriasis uh, carried certain genetic defects. And we also knew that not all individuals carried the same defects. What we found out here is that regardless of the genetic mutation uh, observed, all affected, most affected individuals made too much of a protein called IL-36. IL-36 is normally produced by the cells of our skin and by our white blood cells, and it helps the body fight off viral infection. However, too much IL-36 causes skin inflammation. And we found that that applies to generalized pustular psoriasis, but also to common plaque psoriasis, to the common form of the disease. The other important discovery that we made with this study is that it is possible to block the activity of IL-36 without compromising the activity, the ability of the body to fight off viral infection. In fact, we observed that people who are born with an inactive uh, IL-36 um, do not, are not more susceptible to viral infection than normal. These results are important because they show that the analysis of a very rare condition can benefit our understanding of, common, of a common disease. In fact, we only found out about IL-36 and its role in skin inflammation by studying generalized pustular psoriasis. But we were later able to demonstrate that IL-36 also contribute to skin inflammation in common plaque psoriasis. These results are also important from a clinical perspective because uh, R36 is a molecule that can be blocked by drugs. In fact, a new class of drugs known as R36 inhibitors or R36 blockers is now being developed for the treatment of skin inflammation. Uh, yes. Several uh, pharma companies have shown uh, an interest in the development of L36 inhibitors, and two of these companies have produced L36 blockers that have shown efficacy uh, for the treatment of generalized postural psoriasis in clinical trials. In other words, these companies have produced a drug that, when given to uh, affected individual, can successfully clear their postular eruption. And uh, building on this success, other trials are planned or ongoing in uh, other diseases uh, that have been linked to the excessive production of uh, IL-36. And one of these is palmar plantar pustulosis, uh, which is another form of postular psoriasis where pustules are uh, localized to the palms and the soles.
So we have a long-standing partnership for, uh, with the Psoriasis Association, as we've been fortunate to be funded by them uh, over many years. And so you can find out more about our work on the Psoriasis Association website, on their magazine. And we also have uh, a Twitter account for our group, uh, which looks uh, like this these days. And uh, the handle is group. Cap on.